Now, in a move described as unprecedented, the Dangote Petroleum Refinery has announced a further reduction of the price of diesel from 1,200 naira to 1,000 naira per litre. Now, members of the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria had a few weeks ago said that the local oil marketers set the price at 1,225 naira per litre after securing a bulk purchase agreement prior to adding a markup. Now, this came after group executive at Dangote Group, Devakumar Edwin, confirmed that the company has begun distributing diesel and jet fuel to the local market. Arise business analyst Chikam Bonu joins me now to discuss this further. Good morning, Mr. Chika. Hey, it's great to see you. Very, very well, yeah. thanks. And yourself? Mm, good, 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 good. Great. Oh, well, let's begin with the Dango Yes, story. yes. It's I mean, quite um, an interesting one. Let's uh, go with you know, that. pleasant to hear. Yes. I'm good for the country. And um, I have a couple of Thomases in us in the Bible. Uh, a lot of my friends who said this project was a fluke. And, um, and uh, so what I'm going to be Thomas is still. And I've said, you have seen the diesel in the uh, filling stations available now. Someone said, oh, let's wait for PMS. Let's see the petrol in our car. That's when we believe that the project is real. Oh, so but, you have seen the diesel at the scale? Yeah, of course, of course. The diesel is available. The, 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 you know, I mean, the, the independent marketers have, have, you know, they have been lifting. And that's why they were able to say they should move the price down. Now, um, a couple of things here before I, I, I address this price issue is that um, let the, you know, great, the larger citizenry know that this is, Dangote is a, is a, is a private project, it's not a government project. And it's, it's not one that they will just move the price down to, you know, whatever they choose or whatever the, the aspiration is, because the, the man also has loans to pay to the banks. So he has to price his product in such a way to be able to recover um, his costs and make sure he pays back the loans. And the other thing about this also is to, you know, um, see the importance of private sector-led economy. You see the quantum of money we have spent in turnaround maintenance in our, our staggering uh, refineries, yet none of them have been able to produce one liter of petrol in the last almost 10 years. Um, so... Um, the price has is pushed down to a, a thousand lit, a thousand naira per liter. Um, this morning, I checked the price at the retail sessions. NMPC in Lagos here is going for about a thousand three hundred ninety per liter. Um, I think um, Mobile is doing one thousand four hundred twenty per liter. Now you can see the the gap between the thousand naira that is pushed up from the refinery gate to you know uh, this price that I see this. this independent marketers or the, 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 the retailers are still selling. So we hope that the government will intervene to make sure they, one of the strongest mafia in this country in the past has been the diesel mafia, who have been making so much money from importation of uh, diesel. I'm sure, just like they're fighting uh, Allen uh, APs in going to London, I'm sure so that they're going to fight uh, uh, Dangote Refinery in pushing this price down. Because in succeeding in pushing this price down, you know the importance of that. Logistic costs, a lot of uh, big trucks, this is what the, the big trucks use diesel to move products from around the country, food products from the north to the south. All mo they, they are moved by these big trailers. And what the big trailers use is, uh, is uh, diesel. And diesel is about 40% of the logistic costs for, even more than that for most of these this, 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 uh, this, uh, this tra transport companies. So it will have a salutary impact, impact a pass-through effect Hopefully, if the retail prices get down proportionally as um, uh, the Dango Red Refinery reduce their prices, and so that it will pass through to reducing inflation, the, 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 these prices of uh, Indomie and tomatoes and other things that are, that are not going down, you know, will certainly go down because of the movement of these prices, the uh, uh, Dango Tail retail price down to a ton of naira per liter. And so it's commendable, and I hope the government will actually also meet with the, uh, the petroleum uh, marketers and make sure they pass on these um, gains to the retailers who buy at the retail sessions. It's and, certainly loadable, mm, mm, certainly loadable, mm, as you mm, mentioned. But mm. of course, you know, we, we have to highlight the fact that, that the refinery has actually been supplying at a substantially lower price even just three weeks ago. And you did mention mm. that they're likely to face some resistance at, mm -hmm, at this point. Mm -hmm. What could happen should the government not be able to have these conversations. I'm talking with regards to sustainability and longe longevity of this development, of course. It, it, of course, government can. I mean, government has all the power. I mean, you know, um, as we know, every everybody, anything you if you're operating the oil and gas industry, you need a license, and the so government has 
you know, a button to push to make sure that people fall in line. And so I think the government should actually hold a discussion with the, all these people. Since the government has been talking about, um, has actually been talking about, you remember when cement prices were high? They brought the manufacturer cement and said, please push the prices downwards. So everything that has to do with cement, movement of goods and services, whether it's beer, whether it's uh, finished products, whether it is around the country, they require the trucks. And these trucks use diesel. And so if diesel prices go down, you know, professionally, the landed cost of these goods also go down. So that's why the government should actually step in and support the initiatives of Aldangote Group in bringing the prices down to uh, the 1,000 naira per liter. And so they can be passed on to the individuals. And so that they, they, I don't like using the word mafia. Nigeria likes mafia. So the diesel mafia that has been existing, making billions and wreaking billions from the citizens of this country uh, by importing, you know, um, 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 the diesel, will, uh, will, will pity Nigerians and let the price go. The other thing that may happen also is that, remember also that um, there'll be some savings for the government of another country, even though because the dollars that would have been dedicated to importing diesel Will now will not be no long will no longer be necessary. So that's another another plus for the for the country. You know, All around great mm. benefits. Mm -hmm. We hope this is here to stay. Mm -hmm. uh, as you mentioned, I like the term diesel mafia. Mm -hmm. So everyone's can be brought to their knees. And uh, of course, market forces and market dynamics will also they, they, play, they, they, role. They play a role. Well, let's now look at IMF's review of uh, Nigeria's uh, uh, economic uh, uh, growth. 3.3% uh, from 3%. Where I, are we on that? <laughs> I mean, I, I have had cause to talk about the... This IMF and World Bank projections, and I said um, that it's always interesting when you listen to the chief economists of this institution, whether IMF or World Bank, and when they come out each time, it's always oh, moved from three point this to three point one, you know, uh, and 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 I just say that it's so difficult most times to pin down these projections to what it should, to whatever figure because of a lot of issues, you know, the geopolitical tensions in the world the dependency of the world economy in, on oil, and, and, and then there are other issues, supply chain issues. Remember when the Russian-Ukraine war started, it affected the supply issues in the world, and especially the issues that relate to uh, uh, grain supply. You know, and so the world is just in, in flux. There are things happening every time. Look at last week, we have, we have you know, been a conflagration between Israel and, uh, and, uh, and then Iran. If that had blown out, then we know that, the, again, the impact, all the projections will change again. But I mean, as in May, we have the figures. I mean, Nigeria has been moved up, I think, from 3.1 to 3.3 .3 on the basis of, uh, you know, uh, some in, you know, incentives. One, oil production is being stabilized. Um, in, in inflation is being managed. Um, in, improved security in our country. Those are the positives they, they see. And that will, uh, those will help um, uh, productivity and then the growth in the economy. Now, the other thing that we have we see in our country, you know, tied into your story, is in the power of inflation. You do recall also that in chasing inflation, to curtail inflation in our country, the Central Bank of Nigeria, through its monetary policies, have been moving interest rates up. And if interest, as interest rates are moving up, the, the, the impact of that is also the cost of borrowing to the private sector or the production companies or the general economy is going higher and higher. And what that affects output, that affects output and because people are going to, and then the same thing also the inflation does is you and me, the money spending money in our, in our pockets is also reduced. So all those have impact on the output in the economy. Now, but if they also see inflation coming down from to about moderating to about 26%. You know that food inflation now is about 40 percent, and the last release by NBS um, uh, headline inflation is about 3.3 percent at the last release. So inflation is still up there. We thought it would have been moderated by now, but it's still going up. So when the government, the CBM policies are chasing inflation moderation, those are anti-growth and anti-output, and, and so we're hoping that at a time inflation will, will, will falter, and then output will start um, growing the economy to align with the World Bank uh, projection. So you know what, the IMF is not going to be very pleased that you're taking their projections uh, with a pinch of salt here, Mr. Chika, but I, I point duly taken. Um, of course, inflation, you, you mentioned. So we, of course, just have to you know, keep our eyes peeled and mm -hmm. see like we mm -hmm. always do. Let's take a look at the president setting up a committee mm -hmm. for a national single window. You know, this is quite interesting for import-export, import-export, yeah, I mean, isn't it? If we have, 
you know, I, I, we did a program, there's a program we did here one time where we took a study on what happens at the ports. And it was, um, I, I guess it hit the, you know, a lot of sore points that the custom people actually came, they requested the next day to do a, a, a write or reply, and which we had a debate here. And in that, in that discussion, my, my report, I, I thought about the fact that if you go to the ports that time, they were about, custom had about almost about 20 desks you know, where, you know, documents move from one desk to another one. And then at the port, you have the NDLE, you have so many other security agencies. And, he, you know, the Nigerian system, <laughs> you know, for documents to move from one, one desk to another desk to another desk to another desk is a problem. And I thought about it several times, and it's a, it's a limitation to export, it's a to exporters. Because sometimes, when the, by the time you get the goods there to export, they, they would have expired, or they would have gotten rotten because of the issues in the port or the agent, regulated agencies. So this window, we have been asking for that. And a lot of other countries who are actually pro-trade actually have this window. Sometimes I wonder, you know, I ponder why some things are so difficult to our country. And I, I said that, do you know that a lot of Nigerian exporters actually truck their goods by road to Benin Republic or to Ghana before they can export them? Because over there, it's just so easy. That do you know that some people bring their goods through the, this Nigeria, uh, Bene, Bene ports and Ghana ports and bring them to this country because it's so simple there. So this is important, yeah. that the, 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 the trade policy of a country signifies supports the growth of that economy. Yeah. And, and, and this is why this is, this is very important and undoubtedly commendable. A very, very, undoubtedly very important. And of mm -hmm. course, we've seen what it's, what it's done to countries like Singapore, Saudi mm -hmm. Arabia, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of trade facilitation. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chikambono, I want to thank you so much for joining us um, on the Global Business. Thank you.